Can we talk to uh, talk about real life now? Because as this movie is coming out, of course, the huge news, as you well know, is the discovery of liquid mm -hmm. water yeah. on Mars, oozing out of the sides of crater walls. What does yes. that mean, Neil deGrasse well, Tyson? <laughs> <laughs> well, we've always known that Mars once had water because of the evidence writ large on its surface. So you have riverbeds that are dried, and they're meandering riverbeds, and river deltas, and floodplains, and, and, and it has a lot of the sort of the surface features that you might see flying over the Midwest of the United States as you see all of the, the carved features that moving water has left. And so we say, my gosh, what is the, um, you can see in the images now, these are uh, gullies that have been opened up as water seeped out from the side of those crater walls. And so, Given that, it means that if we go to Mars, then maybe we don't have to bring our liquid water with us. We can just extract it in, on location. And this is a, a major effort of NASA to concern itself with what they call ISRU, in situ resource utilization. You, I'm glad they abbreviated it. <laughs> but it means if you look, go find out where you're headed, explore what resources are there that you might need for your survival, and then you don't have to bring them. So, for example, there, uh, if there's chemistry on your destination that you could bring together and make rocket fuel, then you don't have to bring your fuel wow. to come back, mm -hmm. right? And so, it's huge. It's huge. Yeah. Imagine if you were driving across the United States mm -hmm. and you had to bring all of your gas and all of your food and everything. That's No, you stop at the Quick Mart or whatever and you refill. And so, you got to have supplies not where you began, otherwise it completely transforms how you take your trip. So I think when people heard water, the next step was, of course, could there be life? Yep. Was there life, life in the future? That's I mean, are the we right going, question. We're not pushing it too far? Like, no, that's no, 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 no. So what do you think? You know, and so one of NASA's great mantras is follow the water wherever it takes you. Because on Earth, it, you can think of that as a bias, but it's a legitimate bias. On Earth, wherever there is liquid water, there is life. Everywhere. Everywhere. And so... That's tantalizing to think if we find liquid water on another planet, could there be life there? Mm -hmm. And if life is an, an, an inevitable uh, consequence of complex chemistry, then if life happened here on Earth, why couldn't it happen elsewhere? If we find life on Mars, that would transform biology like we cannot even imagine. Yeah. And so this is what's driving so many of us as we explore the universe. Yeah. What kind of life that we're we talking about? Microbial? Oh, you want someone to crawl out and just... Because <laughs> that <laughs> maybe a ray gun. Who could talk <laughs> to us? You know, green men, something, uh, no, women? No, I, I think we're, we're, we're modest in our requirements <laughs> for the life. It would, I think microbial would be enough. Okay. Just another sort of biota, just another place where life is formed. Sure, if there was some alien intelligence there, that would be even more fun. And then we'd worry, is it smarter than we are? Mm. And will it come and just enslave us? Or, 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 or better yet, better yet, maybe they're so smart, they already have enslaved us, and we don't even know it. Yeah. Uh, now you're blowing right? my mind. Like, does it, it, ants in an ant farm, do they know they're in an ant farm? <laughs> Oh, it's the beginning of a plot. <laughs> Let's I mean, work they together. They can dig and they got channels and rooms and stuff. Do they know? Maybe, maybe the aliens made Earth just for us and we think we're free, but we're just their entertainment in don't their mess zoo. With, don't mess with this. Get, My well, I think about this every day. I want you to lose sleep on it, too. And I think we all will now. Yes. Neil deGrasse Tyson, thank right. you so much. Thanks for having me.